The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hello everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Technicians Hour pre uh, preamble. It's the uh, update to the 10 o'clock market, and we're looking at the Dow down five at 32,975. Now it's actually up 12. Just attempting to find some kind of a base after just a horrible session on Friday. But if you look at the Dow. With all the news that's going on, it's still within a trading range. That's interesting. The S&P also, but it's getting close to not being in a trading range. The S&P did test the 4140, 4114 low of the 24th of February, screened up to the 4637 level, and then comes down. And what does it do? Today's low is 41, uh, 4105. So now we've taken out that left side low. That's really important because we have to start to see the tacticals improve. Otherwise, uh, it starts to make lower lows. We're looking at the QQQ. That's different altogether. It took out its left side low um, very easily. The 317 level, it went down to today's lows, 310, trying to rally. Uh, the QQQ is right now at up $1.30 at 314.45. Uh, did I tell you the S&P is up five at 41.37? You've got the IWM, the Russell 2000, very important session today. Also made a new, a new low. And it's made a new low of 184. It's trading at 186 right now. It's got to find some stability here. Gold. Gold just went kaboom. It went down below the 200 period exponential moving average. And that little bit of strength that we saw on Friday, because I was looking at just the chance that the dollar could have a bit of a pullback. No, the dollar's strong again today. 103.54 as gold comes down. Uh, let's see, it's down 52 at 18 uh, 1859. We're also looking at the, uh, I want you to look at crude oil. And crude oil at this particular moment is trading down $4 at 100.93. Some of this should actually be a little bit of a positive for, for the um for the general market, you've got some of the commodities pulling back. That's what you wanted to see. But that TLT is, it's off. Oh, a new low today, gaps down to 117.19. That means that the TNX, we talk about it when I get back, 10-year yield is at a new recovery high. It's trading at 229.73. Hey, yeah, yeah. I'll be back with the Tiger Technicians out. Check out my opening call date newsletter. See you in a few moments. Otherwise, tomorrow, same time, same station.